Oh, yeah, this happened last Friday evening in Union Township. Local 12 anchor Adam Clements has the emotional interview with this family that is left trying to pick up the pieces now. Give me a sense of what you feel when you stand here and you look at this. So for me, it's tough. A lifetime of memories reduced to a charred shell of a home. It's, it's really hard to to sit back to say, you know, you put all this money and effort into a house to make it yours. It started just like any other Friday for the Knudsen family. Dad Jeff was at a nearby restaurant with their five-year-old daughter. Mom Christy in Mason with the couple's three-year-old son and seven-month-old girl. A weekly kids' date night tradition that would soon take a devastating turn. We're in the middle of eating, got a phone call from my wife that the house was on fire. I mean, it was a good 10, 15 minutes before we finally got a hold of him. I called my mom immediately and I said, there's a fire at the house. Meet me to get the kids. Got my tar car, turned the corner, and all I see is just smoke in the air and just kind of melted in my seat. And, <sighs> and at that point, you're thinking the worst. Oh, yeah. Jeff arrived home just minutes later, his worst nightmare unfolding right in front of his eyes. 12 fire trucks and ambulance, first responders, fire hoses everywhere. So I'm driving to people's grass to get around. People are making way for me to come in. I park on the, the street and see it. Nothing else to really describe it besides, you know, just shock and disbelief and sadness and, you know, that you don't have a home. My thought is everyone's okay. I was pretty calm when I first got here because I'm thinking I have to be the calm one because I know he's probably not at all calm. With the home a total loss and the Knudsen's facing an uncertain future, they say support from the community is getting them through the biggest crisis they've ever faced. That's where you get emotional. Like, I think I've kind of been shut off this the entire time until people are reaching out to you and saying prayers, you know, through Messenger, even people that you don't even know. That's where it really gets you. We're in this together, and it's going to be a long road ahead, but we're all still whole. It's been emotional. We're thankful. We live in such an, an amazing community. I, I love the city. I love this area. We love the people that surround us, and we're forever indebted. We're sending that family lots of good and positive energy as they go through this really difficult time. So fire crews rescued their dog and two cats, along with somehow salvaging a safe containing a few priceless mementos like their children's birth certificates. Those crews are still, though, trying to determine what actually caused the fire. There is a GoFundMe set up if you would like to help that family. We have posted a link to that GoFundMe inside this story at local12.com.